Skatte. What up? Let's get to. So no. Jaron Hall is not Brock Purdy. He is not Patrick Mahomes. He is not Russell Wilson, et cetera, et cetera. Jaron Hall is Jaron Hall. Hands down, man down. Rookie quarterback from BYU, huh? Drafted in the fifth round, who has a great opportunity to prove whether or not he belongs in the NFL on the Vikings. Can he be a future starting quarterback? in the NFL for the Vikings. That's who Jaron Hall is, huh? Had a solid career with BYU. But let's not get carried away and just say things for views, clicks, and likes, baby, you understand? <laughs> Jaron Hall is Jaron Hall. His story is different from Brock Purdy's. His story is different from Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, et cetera, et cetera. He has the chance to make his own story. Make history his way, baby. Understand? <laughs> he has a great opportunity. Once again, prayers up to Kirk Cousins. Best wishes to him and his family. He had a successful surgery. That's a plus. Happy to hear that, man. Hopefully he has a speedy recovery, right? Quickly and swiftly. Heavy. But now it's time for the Vikings to keep going. To keep that momentum, just like KOC said. So Jaron Hall is none other than himself, man. He gets his chance, his opportunity versus them dirty Atlanta Falcons, baby. I'm going to say it again. Versus them dirty Atlanta Falcons, baby. Not an easy game, you know, not an easy task. But if he is who he says he is or thinks he is, he was drafted for a reason. Kevin O'Connell saw something in him, right? Believed in him for a reason. He is the starter for a reason. Like I say, I think, you know, don't be shocked if you see Josh Dobbs get inserted into the game, right? I think Josh Dobbs at the end of the day will be the starter, but I could be wrong. Jaron Hall could come in, show out, and take that spot over and run with it. Now, that's a major task. You're asking a rookie quarterback to come in, win a game. And the Falcons, they have a solid defense, right? They got solid cornerbacks. They're not a slouch team. The record may not show up, but you can course in a lot of things, et cetera, et cetera. But their defense will bring it, and they will bring it even extra harder to Jaron Hall. He's a rookie. They're going to try to get him rattled, try to get him disturbed back there. Uncomfortable in that pocket, right? See what he's really made of. No one will feel sorry for the Vikings, baby. Heavy. They're going to attack them, take full advantage. But guess what? Once again, Jaron Hall can prove himself to himself. Forget everybody else, huh? Prove to himself that he belongs in the NFL, baby. Everything else will fall into place. So I'm glad Jaron Hall gets an opportunity, a fair opportunity, to show what he has, <laughs> to put his talents on display, a different dynamic, a different type of quarterback than Kirk Cousins. He gives you the scrambling ability, mobile, get out the pocket. But he's going to have to lean on the O-line. The O-line will have to step up. Can he win? Can he potentially be successful? Yes. But it's a lot of variables to that, baby. Starting with the O-line, I'll get into that later. But the O-line, they're going to have to elevate their game even more. They're going to have to really protect this quarterback, this young rookie quarterback. You thought they had to protect Kirk. <laughs> but yeah, Kirk's a vet. Was playing the best football of his career. You know, yes, Kirk needs protection. He needs time. He'll pick any defense apart. But Kirk was who he was. Kirk was elevating. He was going into a different zone, a different mode. You know, Kirk has a lot of experience, right? <laughs> Kirk was progressing week in, week out. And you protect Kirk, you see what it is. But Jaron Hall is no Kirk Cousins. Once again, it's a total different animal, the NFL, baby. He's going to have to learn how to read defenses on the fly. Pocket awareness on the fly, right? Get the ball out of his hands quickly and swiftly on the fly, baby. This is no BYU. He's not going up against Boise State. <laughs> He's going up against the best players in the world. Elite of the elite, the best of the best, baby. Hands down, man down. 
So you think he's just going to come in and ball out? No, he could. <laughs> We've seen it before. You got your Brock Purdy's, the list goes on, but is it is it a high percentage he comes in and just is that guy? Comes in, fills in the you know, shoes of Kirk Cousins quickly and swiftly, gets it, boom, bam, like that. Everything clicks. It's a rarity. It could happen. I'm not saying he can't do it, but it's not an easy task. It's very rare. You're talking about one of the hardest positions, the most important position in football. Dick, you understand? You get my drift. <laughs> so he's going to have to lean on the O-line. The O-line got to protect him even more. They should be more ready to play, more turned up to protect this young rookie. Right? They talk about keeping the season alive, meshing, you know, getting the scene. Everything's coming together. They're vibing well. Well, the whole line, they're going to have to impress even more, baby. They're going to have to block, block their ass off to protect this young quarterback, right? Even more than they did for Kirk. KOC, huh? he's going to have to get Jaron Hall ready. Now, if KOC is the Quarterback whisper, he's proved that with Kirk Cousins. You've seen how he made a change for the better in Kirk Cousins' career, mentally, physically, gameplay, etc. Like I said in a previous video, if you don't think Kirk Cousins had anything to do with the way, uh, my bad, if you don't think Kevin O'Connell had anything to do with the way Kirk Cousins has been playing, you are delusional. He is the main reason, and of course, Kirk got to put the work in, make the changes. But what did everybody say? Oh, Kirk's 35. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, et cetera, et cetera, blah, say, blah. But him and KOC, they killed that noise, right? <laughs> they killed that noise. That's why it sucks that that injury, the injury Kirk suffered, because he was doing so well. He was coming into rare form, right? It was really clicking, baby. Heavy, hands down, man down. That's part of the game sometimes. You got to step up and keep it going. But KOC will play a major role in Jaron Hall. Now, some people saying, make the offense vanilla. What? Make the offense vanilla for what? <laughs> How long can you make the offense vanilla? Make it simple. Until you run into a good team? Until you run into the playoff teams? What do you mean, make it vanilla? Hold back. Hold back what? Now, I understand he can't do what Kirk Cousins does. I understand Kevin O'Connell will have to, you know, tweak the offense here and there. But you don't change your whole game plan. You don't hold back because you got a rookie quarterback. He's an NFL quarterback for a reason. They got to see if he can play. All that keep it vanilla, just run the ball, just run the ball. First off, the Vikings run game hasn't been great. That's period, bottom line. Let's think about that. Their rushing game has not been great. <laughs> so it's easy to say, oh, yeah, just run the ball. Keep Jaron Hall comfortable. For what? Let him play. Just like in the Packers game, everybody's mad at KOC for throwing the ball. Why? I love that he threw the ball. See what this dude got. You can't coddle him forever. <laughs> you can't keep him out of harm's way forever, baby. So I was glad to see KOC call a play call where Jaron Hall was throwing I don't like the dumb play action on the goal line. I feel like that was stupid, period. If you're going to throw it, throw it. Run it, run it. That's the only problem I had with that dumb play action at the goal line, period. But Jaron Hall, he had two solid drives. One good quick throw to KJ Osborne, quick screen. Then the other one across the middle to TJ Hawkinson for a first down. So he didn't look atrocious. He might can actually play, but it's going to take time. Now he has a full week in the offense, preparing to be the starter. We will see what he can bring to the table heavy. So let's comment down talking about keep it vanilla. No, you don't keep nothing vanilla. Period, bottom line, heavy. KOC needs to be him. Insert his play calls, but tweak some things, yes. And they're going to have to get the run game going. Bottom line, <laughs> That's for any quarterback, though. You understand? They needed to improve the run game with Kirk Cousins. No good thing was Kirk Cousins was playing immaculate. So you could throw the ball 40-plus times a game. Can you throw that many times with Jaron Hall? 
put that much, much pressure on him right away. No, that's not ideal, but you never know. They might have to. So, yes, the run game is vital. But the question is, can they get that going? Heavy. So, Jaron Hall might have to step up early. He might have to be uncomfortable, baby. Period. Him and KOC. But KOC is the quarterback whisperer for a reason. Head coach, play caller for a reason, right? He's gotten better. He's progressing in his role. Still have some questionable play calls, especially the second half, late third, fourth quarter of the game, no doubt. KOC must improve. But the whole team as a whole is gelling, getting better. That's a great sign, baby, a great sign. They went into Lambeau Field, handled business, protected the North, huh? In a game, everyone thought they could have a letdown, right? After beating up on the Niners, a physical game, grueling game. They won convincingly, right? <laughs> it was no doubt, no debating. Heavy, baby, that's what it's about. So Jaron Hall has an opportunity to do great things, prove who he is as a quarterback. Seems like a good guy, good dude, chill dude. Could be a solid leader, but he got to prove it at the end of the day. And coddling him won't do nothing but hold the offense back. Period. Bottom line. So let's stop all the comparisons. Stop all the he's this, he's that. No, he is him. Jaron Hall is himself, dog. Not nobody else. Period. Bottom line. Can he play football? Can he be a starting quarterback in the league? We will see this Sunday. Majority of questions will be answered, baby. Period. That's just what it is. <laughs> so let's comment down making comparisons when he's does not when he's done nothing yet. Hasn't took really a real. I mean, he took some snaps, but he's about to play a whole game, maybe. And I wouldn't be shocked if Josh Dobbs came in, especially if Jaron Hall just ain't in. But I'm rooting for the guy. I wish him the best. Young rookie. Getting on the field. See what he can do, man. <laughs> Could be a great story. Heavy. But will Jaron Hall be zoned in? Will he be ready, prepared for this moment? He says he's ready. Zoned in, focused, all right, bet. We shall see. But it's a lot of variables that plays into his success, baby. KOC, the old line coaching staff, everybody. They got to rally behind their young quarterback. Have him ready. Have him confident, but he has to rally behind himself at the end of the day. He got to have his own confidence, self-confidence, baby. He can't go out there scared, scared, rattled already. No, nervous. Yeah, nervous is part of the game, but he got to come ready, confident, like I'm ready. What up? Let's get it. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what the young, what the young boy can do. <laughs> is he ready? Is he not ready? It's going to be what it's going to be. Put your best foot forward, man. Heavy, right? <laughs> Football, life, etc. We know what it is. But that's my take, my opinion on Jaron Hall, man. Stop comparing the man. He's him. He is himself, dog. Heavy. That's it. Jaron Hall. And what type of quarterback will he be? Can he be? We will see very soon, man. <laughs> that's why you got to love the NFL, right? Football in general. Let's get to it, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and roll. And baby, takes less than one second. Score Vikes, man, forever. Shout out all my big dogs, my subscribers, my supporters. You are much appreciated for life. Never forget it, baby. <laughs> you know what it is. It's Jaron Hall time, man. Will he shine? Score Vikes forever. Yeah. <laughs>